things up. I'm not trying. Do it. Wipe it all away. <laughs> Oh, that's sweet. Look no. at that. I was getting a guy thinking about lunch. That's what I was getting. <laughs> I'm really... Uh, you had so, your your fans are absolutely uh, incredible. They are so loyal, uh, Brian. You say that you got one fan letter that really stood out I of, all the, of all the fan letters. I was I, we were talking about that. I said I'm going to bring this fan letter with me. Can I read it to you? Yes, you may. All right. So this fan, this is an honest goodness fan letter it came to me. It says, "Dear Brian Cranston, let me preface this letter by saying." I have a master's degree in psychology, and I have never been diagnosed with any psychotic disorder. You know when a, when a letter starts out with, I have never been diagnosed with yeah. any psychotic disorder. Yeah, yeah. No one's caught me yet. <laughs> so, I am writing to you because I have been holed up in my apartment for two days and nights watching all seasons of your show. I am in love with it all. After I was done with all the episodes, I watched some interviews. And what this is all amounted to is that right now, I am fantasizing about having sex with Aaron Paul. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and, and for you to be there watching. <laughs> It's a true, yeah. What are you doing in this scenario? It says, I am not sure what your role would be. <laughs> but I think I want you there. <laughs> he's giving you some leeway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's up to you. You figure it out. You're saying he's giving me some yeah. leeway? Yeah, yeah. Is it a he or a she? It's a she. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a he the whole time. Oh, it's a she. You pitch in a letter however you want, I'll pitch it how I want. Oh, wow. Well, the last thing she, she says is, come on, it would be a good time. Come on, come on. have sex with Aaron and you watch. Come on, Leslie. Now, I have to bring this up. There's so many finale theories. There's actually a theory for the finale that Walt's in the Witness Protection Program. He gets a new family. And he changes his name to Hal, and it's the prequel to Malcolm in the Middle. That was a... That was... Which I thought was ingenious. That's ingenious. That's ingenious. That's, and then that whole series runs. And that series runs, but it, it already ran, so how do we... Don't you understand, man? Yeah. yeah. Time doesn't mean anything, man. <laughs> Speaking of the last episode, I none of us... Uh, we don't want to know anything, but, it, but what I do... Have, what I heard about two hours ago was that you read the two of you read the last episode together yes before you shot it you sat together and you read it is that right yes we with there's a there's a really wonderful documentary that a uh, two-hour documentary that's going to be in the final uh, compilation of all right the then and never heard of it but okay really depth, and uh, we, we thought it would be a fun idea for aaron and i to read it cold uh, out loud uh, in this documentary, so yeah, yeah. we read this without knowing what was going to happen, and then they intercut that earlier with with uh, Vince Gilligan writing the last episode. Great so idea. it was a it was a fun thing. And was it must have been very powerful when you got towards the end? It was a very emotional ex experience, I think, for for us for sure. I mean, when he said uh, when he read out loud end of series, there was probably a good 10, 15 seconds. We were just just sitting quietly like, wow, we're never going to read another first episode again. It's over. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> I can't think of a better time to go to commercial on that, on that huge laugh. We'll be right back with Vince Gilligan, Anna Gunn, and Dean Norris. So stick around.